any math majors in the house? Anybody good at math? Okay, well, we're going we're gonna to do this. I have seven minutes to knock it down. I am, uh, I feel like I'm 18, but uh, at this point, it's been a long time coming, and I moved to Toronto in 86 when I was nine, which means I am how old now? I was nine in 86. Any hands? How old am I? You're wrong. I have to do 38 years of my life in seven minutes. So here it goes. Uh, and these are based on the roots of creativity and what gave me the opportunity to actually stand here and give you any advice or any motivation or inspiration. I was born in Ottawa, spent two years there. I don't know how much that helped, maybe politically, I don't know. I don't know. Moved to Edmonton for seven years, lived there for the Euler dynasty. I'm also an athlete. That's Gretzky, Messier, the best in the game. In Edmonton, the difference is I became a product of my, of my environment. My parents, mainly my mother, put me into music. Amani, you go play the violin. Second grade. The difference between Edmonton and where, where I would have been if I was in Toronto was the two-year jump. That two-year jump, when I moved to Toronto in 86, became a world of difference. Because I show up in Toronto with a violin case, fourth grade, in 86, halfway through the year, and nobody else had started playing. I hated the instrument before that, but once I knew I was better than everybody else, then I loved it. <laughs> and I stuck with it. I'm, I'm a classically trained violinist, and I played it all the way through school. Uh, me and Eddie used to uh, break dance at music camp, Scarborough Music Camp, uh, all the time with the bare naked ladies. Everybody knows Eddie with the glasses. Really cool cat. Anyway, moving forward, what happens is if you are, I didn't ask to be put in these positions. So again, the environment helped me out. So I'm not telling you, hey, you should do this or do that. I got lucky. And that luck propelled. So now in Toronto, I've got my violin. I'm going to RH King Academy, ninth grade on the bus in a uniform, uh, an hour away from home. And I'm nervous. And what was crazy is the seniors, for some reason, took me in right away. I think it's one reason is one of the seniors was in my music class. I think he played uh, trombone or something. We played in a symphony orchestra. And he said, yeah. My name is Amani, but my first name is Carl. He said, yeah, that guy Carl, he's cool. So let him roll. And all of a sudden, my confidence builds. OK, well, yeah, fast forward. All of a sudden, there are these programs, a program that jumps up in Ontario called Jobs Ontario Youth. The Joy Program, sponsored by the NDP government in 1991 or 92. Could have been before some people in this room were even born. I hate to say this, but I feel like I'm dating myself because I look so young, fly, and fresh. But I'm all for it. Anyway, this program was to initiate um, visible minorities, which has changed now because we're practically half, if not more. We could be the visible majority now, but that's a whole other conversation. Um, but this program was to put people, give people summer jobs, teens, summer jobs. And one of those programs was Fresh Arts. And Fresh Arts was funded by the NDP government of Ontario. We got paid to learn how to sell art. I started out visual art, because I'm also a visual artist. It's visual art, theater, music, dance. Spoken word, events planning, everything. And we get paid $6.85 an hour for two months. Awesome. But what happened now is within those first two years, I put a record out. I was 16 years old in high school with a record on the radio. And again, I am a product of my environment. It's not 
And this is what I, this is where I want to leave off. If I don't get to say all 38 years in this seven minutes, this is the main point, is the fact that if you can put yourself in the right environment or situation, you know, you don't need to go beg for an opportunity. Sometimes it'll find you. Most of the time it does. And then you do the work to push forward. So I want to make sure that everybody in here, young to old, no matter what color, you take advantage of these opportunities. So, I'm 17, in high school, driving a Mustang, music video on TV, and I gotta tell my teachers, I'm gone for two months because I gotta go on tour. And this is before I graduated. Um, I'll never let that story go. My son, Dakota, and my wife, and they're like, you told that story about a thousand times. Like Al Bundy. Football stories. I got those two, but we'll say that for another time. But my point is, is the roots of creativity aren't necessarily to be sought out. Like, okay, where can I get started? Where, sometimes it's right under your feet. Nine times out of ten it is. So what I would like you to do is, if you could almost fast forward yourself from where you are now and think about where you're going, because I could talk about accolades and everything, but the most important thing about this conversation is, is what I'm saying is the environment that was available, I took advantage of. So everybody in this room, student, alumni, onlooker, cameraman, take advantage of the ground beneath you and move forward. And I haven't been watching the clock, but it feels like I'm getting to seven minutes. I could go on for days. 38 years in seven minutes. Take advantage of your position. And remember that Toronto is not a planet. Toronto is a city. The world is to be seen. Move your ass. And good night.